welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a get ready with me. I just wanted to sit down and play with makeup and just chat with you guys. I created this fun, quirky, cute makeup look. It's something very, very different and I know it's not for everyone, but I've been wanting to recreate this artwork from Quinny Art for a little while now. And then I actually saw Snatch by Jake recreate this as well. So it was easier for me to see it on an actual human and I took a lot of inspiration from these two pictures um, and then I was more inspired by the jewelry that I received from Ana Luisa. This video is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa and they were kind enough to send over some of their beautiful beautiful jewelry pieces so I'm wearing actually all of them right now. The first three are actually all on my ear. So the first thing they sent over was this dainty hoop. It's so fine, like their jewelry is so stunning, so fine, so dainty, and just perfect for every day. So I have the little dainty hoop on my first piercing and then on my second piercing I have this silver crescent moon and I just think it's so cute. And in my third piercing I have this row of stars is my favorite earring period. I just think it looks so delicate and I love how it goes up my ear. It looks like I have four piercings but actually I only have three. For an everyday wear like if I'm going to work I wouldn't wear the hoop. I would wear just like another normal stud. For today's look with the gold, the moon and the stars, the makeup look, everything just goes so perfectly together. And the last item they sent over was this ring. I got to pick out all of these items and honestly I love them so much. They are just so delicate so dainty. So this is a pack of three rings. It's like a really really simple ring but actually the rings are not even. It's a little bit more quirky and I just love how it looks. I cared th these two a little bit far from each other so it has a little bit more style. You definitely could just stack all three together but I like to wear it kind of like this. I've been wearing these like literally every single day. It's just great for everyday wear, but they're so elegant and so classic at the same time. So yeah, Ana Luisa was kind enough to sponsor today's video and they also sent me an extra pair of the hoops that I'm wearing right now. So I have an extra pair in this box and we are gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna write down all the giveaway rules in the description box, so please open that and follow those rules and you can enter to win a pair of of these hoop earrings. This intro is already long enough so I don't want to make it even longer by explaining the rules. So I'm gonna leave everything in the description box. It's very very simple to enter but yeah they sent me an extra pair and I thought why not do a giveaway for you guys. I hope you guys enter the giveaway because why wouldn't you want a pair of these earrings and we can be twins we can be twins and with that being said if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this makeup look just continue watching okay so to get started I'm first gonna start off with primer the primer that I'm using is the Colourpop all star primer the matte and blur one I only got this recently and I actually kind of like it like it, it hasn't broken me out which is like the main thing it feels like a lotion but then when you rub it into your skin it feels more like a silicone primer it's like the weirdest thing ever like I'm not too familiar with primers I mean it works great honestly primers and like setting sprays are kind of hard to tell like if they actually work good or not but it's not breaking me out my skin feels good it's a good primer. And it's like, what, six bucks or something? So for today's foundation combo, I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Sand, and I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this on the outer edges of like my face, because this shade, it does match me pretty nicely, but I wish it was a little bit more golden, but you know, whatever, I love this foundation. And then I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige, and put that in the center of my face. Just because the Wet n Wild one, it's a little bit too light for me, but I love the finish of the Wet n Wild one. It makes my skin look so flawless, and for the makeup look that I'm doing today, I kind of want my skin to look really good in photos, and the Wet n Wild foundation is the best foundation to achieve that. So I'm just taking my Sigma 3D HD sponge. I need to get a new one, it like ripped. But I'm gonna press this into my skin. I'm really excited for today's makeup look. I'm filming quite early because I know this video is gonna take me a while to film. Because when I film more of these like more creative looks, it does take me a while because I like to take my time. I just lose myself in it. This look is not like crazy, 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 but it has a lot of detail to it. And I haven't practiced this either, so I'm kind of nervous. Like hopefully 
it comes out nicely. I've been wanting to recreate this look for the longest time from that artist. And when I saw um, Snatch by Jake recreate it as well, I was like, great, I have someone to base it off like in a real life person rather than a drawing. Like I wanted to do a makeup look inspired by the jewelry as well. And then I'm like, I've been wanting to recreate this starry crying eyes look and a lot better way with you know, this earring here and the moon and the gold. I love it so much. I don't know if you guys have noticed this in my recent videos. I've been wearing this all the time. But it's like honestly my new favorite earring. And I just think it looks so good. It's so freaking cute. I love it. And then next up, I'm going to take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 20. And I'm going to use this under my eyes just to cover up these dark circles. I mean, like, what concealer can cover up these dark circles? You guys tell me, but... I'm just gonna put a little bit over this little pimple line that I had that I actually picked and I'm not, not my proudest moment. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand and I'm literally gonna like scrape it off and put like bloop 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 like two dots. I know in my review video for the Tarte Shape Tape I said I didn't like it but more recently like it's... That's pretty good. It's really good to cut out the crease and I wouldn't use that concealer on its own. It's definitely a concealer that I would mix just because it creases almost instantly and it is a little bit more cakey but it does have the extra coverage that I need. So I'm just taking the same sponge again and I'm just gonna press that into my skin and I'm gonna take some onto my lid and this is gonna act as our eye primer. This is something that I always do. I feel like eye primer sometimes isn't necessary. Although I want to try the P. Louise one. And now I'm just taking my ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. But you can see my under eyes. I don't know if you guys can see because you're kind of far, far away. But my under eyes are already creasing. That's the shot. shot. That is the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, so you want to like just blend it out first before you set it because if you set it with all that creasing, you're going to set the creasing and you don't want that. Take my powder and just go right underneath there. I like to bring it over here to my cheeks because this is where I have my pores. I don't think my pores are like that bad, but this powder, I don't know what it does, what kind of magic is in here. It does like minimize the appearance of your pores and just like blurs it and smooths it out. Can you see how much smoother this side is to this side? Amazing. And now I'm just gonna take the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder in the shade Medium Dark. I've actually hit pan on it, which is crazy. But I'm just gonna use this to set the rest of my face where I didn't bake. This, this is gonna ensure that the foundation is gonna stay in place the whole day. So I'm actually going to go off camera and do my brows because I feel like I have shown you guys my brows recently of how I do it and it's always the same. So I'm going to skip on brows in this tutorial and we'll be back to start on the eyes. Okay guys, so I zoomed you guys in closer and my brows are on. Snatched by Jake, he actually doesn't have any eyeshadow on his eyes and I think that looks great because it actually pulls all the attention to the stars. But I want to put a little bit of eyeshadow on my eyes. That's just something I feel more comfortable with. Okay, I think I might just take my Yes Please palette and I'll take the shade Mischief and Note to Self and just kind of mix the yellow and the brown together to get like more or less muted yellow. And I'm just going to put this into my crease and I think this is the only shade that we'll work with on our eyes. And I'm just going to put that into my crease using windshield wiping lotions. With these looks, it's like really hard because you can imagine it in your head when you come to execute it. It's a different story. It's fun though. I like creating these like more fun looks. Okay, I feel like that's just like a good all over shade. Like, you know, there's some definition to my tiny ass eyes. But speaking about more creative looks, I don't think I will be doing any Halloween looks this year. I've created more like cosplay looks throughout the year. And I do have a playlist for Halloween videos, but I will be in Japan for Halloween, which is really exciting. I'm really excited to see what Halloween will be like in Japan because I can only imagine like everybody on the streets would be like cosplaying and stuff and I live for that. I'm thinking that maybe I will do a black liner. Oh, would that be too harsh? Okay, I'm gonna do a brown liner. 
How about that? Let's do brown. I don't actually own a brown liquid liner or a brown gel liner. So I'll be using a liquid lipstick to do that. It is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Cloudscape. I'm taking the liquid lipstick and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Oh, this hand is going to be dirty after this video, okay? So now that I have my wing on, I'm actually going to use my Inglot gel liner in number 77. But I'm going to use this to tightline my upper waterline just to get rid of that skin showing. And for mascara, I'm just using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now it's time for the tears and this is going to be a little bit harder so just looking at my reference picture I'm gonna start with the drippy eyes. I'm taking this yellow face paint it's from Diamond FX and it's a water activated face paint so I'm using my Sigma E05 brush. Just a heads up guys I completely just want to skip over this part because I did end up taking it off because I didn't like how it looked um, but I wanted to show you the products that I did use for the yellow tears and stuff like that But this specific part that I'm showing you right now, I wrapped it off afterwards, so yeah I'm just going into my Sleek's Ultra Matte I'm going to take this yellow shade here and I'm going to use this to set down that face paint or else it's going to start creasing I'm not going to take the Colourpop one because the one in the Sleek palette is a little bit more vibrant Okay, now we're gonna start creating more like droplets. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to draw a star here. So I'm just going with some yellow eyeshadow, just going over the edges of the shapes that we drew. So it kind of gives like a little aura behind the stars and the teardrops. And now I'm going to take my Cloudscape liquid lipstick and we're going to use this to outline around these stars. This is going to act as our shadow. I'm using my Makeup Collective number no. 2 brush. I'm just going to take the shade Mischief, the dark brown from the Yes Please palette and I'm taking it on this very tiny paintbrush and I'm just going to go around the brown liquid lipstick just to make it look a little bit more diffused. Now I'm just taking my NYX white liquid liner and I'm going to use this to highlight. Okay guys, a little bit of update. I actually just removed the crying part under my under eye. I felt like I couldn't do it like Snatched by Jake. But I liked how everything else turned out so I decided I'm just gonna cry from my eyes instead. And I just re-put my concealer on and I think it looks fine. And maybe I'll do these little dots as my freckles over my face. Maybe something like that. So, I'm gonna do like the rest of the shading and highlighting off camera, but I'm gonna finish off my eye makeup while I'm still rolling. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this shade here. I, okay, I think this is called French Kiss. I think I called a mischief earlier. I'm using my Makeup Collective number no. 7 brush, and I'm just gonna run this on my bottom waterline, right underneath my actual waterline. And then from earlier, I still have that yellow eyeliner in my waterline. And I'm going to take my NYX Cosmetics Highlight and Contour shade and take this shade over here, which is actually called Sculpt. And I'm going to use this to contour my nose. Since I've decided that I'm going to do the freckles over my nose, I want to contour my nose before putting that paint over. Okay, 
Okay, so as you can tell, I did a lot more off camera. I shaded everything and highlighted everything. I did the freckles over my nose with some yellow eyeshadow as the base. I used the sleek palette. Right now, I'm just taking my white eyeliner and just adding more to the freckles. And it kind of gives it more of like a galaxy feel. And I think I'm going to do that like all around. So it kind of gives it a little bit more dimension rather than just the yellow dots. So now it's time to pop on my lashes. I am using the House of Lashes Bador Light. Okay, now I'm just going to take some of the Urban Decay Space Cowboy Eyeshadow. I'm using my Morphe MB45. I'm just going to take this eyeshadow and dust it over like my whole face. It's kind of like a loose glitter, but it just adds like that galaxy feel. I don't really know if you guys will be able to see it once I show you close up, but it just looks like the galaxy, you know? Now I'm taking the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Everglow. I'm going to take this shade over here, the golden one, and I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners. And for my lip color today, I'll be using the Colourpop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Quickie. And this is the aftermath of my hand. And this, guys, is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys had fun just chilling, sitting down with me, and getting ready. I had a lot of fun filming it. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit hesitant in the beginning just because as I was doing these stars, I was second guessing myself and it wasn't looking like how I planned it. But at the end, I really like how it turned out. I know it's very different and it's not for everyone, but I personally love it. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to enter the giveaway. Every Thing you will need to know is in the description box. Good luck if you're entering and I can't wait for the winner to receive these earrings and then we can be twins. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!